again. Welcome back to Guess What? Today, we're asking, what makes our bodies move? First, let's look at the many ways we move our bodies. Look at this basketball player. He's moving every part of his body. snowboarder is also moving every part of his body. These women are fencing. They're moving their arms and legs a lot. The muscles in their arms and legs are very strong. This climber is using his arms and legs to get up the ice waterfall. He also has strong arm and leg muscles. Look at these divers. They're moving their legs more than their arms to move through the water. This man is moving his arms more than his legs to move his kayak through the water. Now listen to what makes our bodies move. We move our bodies a lot for sport because we run, jump, bend, and stretch. We use our bones, muscles, and joints. Two or more bones meet at our joints. Elbows are joints in our arms. and knees are joints in our legs. We have lots of muscles in our body, from our faces to our feet. Muscles are connected to our bones. Muscles get longer or shorter to make our joints and bones move. We need strong bones, muscles, and joints for sports. Some sports, like hiking, use our leg muscles. Some sports, like rowing, use our arm muscles. Some sports, like rock climbing, use leg, arm, and other muscles in our body. Learn about what makes our bodies move when we're biking. This biker needs strong muscles to move his legs up and down so his bike moves along the road. This biker needs strong arm and leg muscles to turn his bike on the ground. This BMX biker needs strong arm muscles to turn his bike in the air. This BMX biker needs strong muscles all over his body to jump his bike from rock to rock. This mountain biker needs strong leg muscles to ride up the hill. What do you know? What makes our bodies move? Our joints? our muscles, our bones. Good job! <laughs>